So hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is the second video in my Runcam HD video series. In this video we will uh, try to see what the latency of the Runcam HD is compared to the Mobius. As we all know uh, due to uh, these cameras uh, recording the video in full HD the latency is of course higher than for usual FPV cams which do not record but only submit the uh, video to the, to the ground. So the uh, interesting question here is is there a difference between the run cam and the Mobius with regards to that? This should be interesting since they are so similar otherwise. So what will we use for this setup? Uh, I have here an Android tablet. This is a regular Android tablet where I have a special software here which is basically a counter. So you will have here the milliseconds which are so shown on the, on the screen. Additionally I have an FPV monitor here which I will power up right now and to this FPV monitor I will connect both cameras first the run cam and then the Mobius let's try this already with the run cam let's turn it on and as you can see we have the image here what I will do with the run cam is I will record the milliseconds of the tablet here which you can see on this monitor and if we then look at both values of this monitor which includes the latency of the uh, run cam or the Mobius and on the tablet and subtract, subtract uh, these numbers from each other we will see how much the latency is. So we will start this right now. As you can see it is running now and if you want to cheat a bit you can just press stop now in the YouTube video sub subtract uh, these two uh, numbers from each other and you will have the latency of the run cam HD. Uh, if you don't want to do that yourself, just wait a bit, I will do it for you. So this is sufficient for the Runcam HD. I will disconnect it now. And turn it off. Okay, so we have just uh, tested the latency of the Runcam while it is not recording. Of course, we need to test it while it is recording as well to see if that makes a difference. So I have switched it to the 720p mode at 60 frames per second and I'm starting the recording now and while it is recording that <coughs> we will just repeat the test. Okay, so we will see if that makes any difference in latency. I'm curious about that as well. But well, that should be enough. Okay, so I will now stop the recording and uh, switch the mode to the uh, uh, regular mode. Yeah, there it is. I've just switched the mode to the uh, regular full HD recording mode at 30 uh, frames per second and I will repeat this test now. Okay, this recording, the LED is, is blinking, <coughs> so let's repeat this. Okay, so I have prepared everything now to repeat 
this test for the Mobius. So we will uh, turn on our FPV monitor again. I have now hooked up the Mobius live out cable to this. And let's turn the Mobius on. And put the live out cable in. And as you can see, we have the live out image here. Let's reset this to zero. And we can now repeat the same test as before. So I will just point this here. And start the timer, the stopwatch. And again, now you can simply press stop in the YouTube video. Subtract uh, this number from this number. And the difference will be the latency of the Mobius camera. And then you can compare this to the value which you got before from the Runcam HD and you will know if they have the same latency or not. Or, as before, you can just wait a bit and I will do it for you. Okay, so this is enough. You can stop this. Uh, in the last test, which we just did for the Mobius, it was not recording. So we will repeat these tests now uh, while it is uh, recording at 720p 60 frames per second and after that at full HD with 30 frames per second to also see if that makes a difference in the latency. <coughs> so let's turn our FPV monitor on. Then we connect our Mobius. And turn it on, of course. Then, uh, yeah, it's fine. We put it into 720p recording mode and start recording. So you can see the LED here, it's recording fine. And we do again the same test as before to see what the latency is. Okay, so this should be enough. We stop the recording and switch to full HD mode now indicated by the yellow LED and we again start the recording. You can see it's recording and we will uh, repeat this test. Okay, again this should be fine. So, hi again everybody. So I have now analyzed the, the results and yeah, well, they are quite surprising actually. First let me say that we did all the tests of course with the uh, latest firmware for both cameras as of today. I will uh, write the firmware version into the video description so you can see it. And as you saw, we did these tests for both cameras while not recording, <coughs> while recording at 720p with 60 frames per second and at 1080p with 30 frames per second. And yeah, so, so here are the results. They are really surprising, so I have to think about this. Maybe you can help me in the comments. For the run cam, uh, the results are that when it is not recording, there is a latency of about 166 milliseconds. So 0 0.166 seconds. When it is recording at 720p with 60 frames per second, 
this latency is actually reduced. It is reduced to about 101 milliseconds. So there is less latency with the run cam when recording 720p at 60 frames per second than when not recording. This is really interesting. I'm sure it has something to do with the hardware in this, but it's really curious. And the last result for the run cam for full HD for 1080p at 30 frames per second, uh, the latency is 134 milliseconds. This is again lower than the latency when it is not recording. When it is not recording, it was 166 milliseconds. When recording full HD, it's 134. So that's 30 milliseconds less. This is also very curious, I think. Really strange. And for the Mobius, we have similar results. Uh, well, let, let me just say you uh, up front, mostly the Mobius beats the run cam when it comes to latency. So the latency of the Mobius is lower. When not recording, the latency of the Mobius is 134 milliseconds. That's about 30 milliseconds lower uh, than the latency of the run cam when it is not recording. And now comes something really, really nice and surprising for the Mobius. When the Mobius is recording at 720p with 60 frames per second, the latency goes down to just 67 milliseconds. So this is very close to the slower board cams, to the slower dedicated FPV cams which we have out there, because they, they usually have 20 to 50 milliseconds. So for a 720p recording at 60 frames per second, the latency of the Mobius is just 6, 67 milliseconds. That makes it very flyable even for uh, faster crafts. So that's just 0.067 seconds. It's, it's very fast. And for a full HD recording for a 1080p at 30 frames per second, the latency of the Mobius goes up again to the same value as if it is not recording, which is 134 milliseconds. So these are some really surprising results for me, uh, specifically that when it is recording, the latency of the camera is lower for the uh, live out than when it is not recording. If there are any technicians out there, if there are any uh, hardware specialists out there who, who watch this video, maybe you can explain it in the comments why that is the case. And the second thing is, well, uh, when I have set the Mobius at 720p and 60 frames per second, the latency is just 67 milliseconds. Uh, I could imagine using that on a mini quad racer because it's really really low but that is just me and I'm not the pro racer pro racers will always go for the for the for the lowest latency so pro racers will always go for a dedicated board cam which is great which is nice I also use this on my quads and use the other cams just for recording video but if you are not on a racing machine I think both of these cams are very usable as FPV cams uh, as well. So if you, I, I, I really enjoyed, I think you, you noticed, I really enjoyed doing these tests. If you also enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'm always very, very, very glad if someone does that. So thank you very much. And see you next time.